Fourth of July celebrations are coming to an end and local fire departments want to remind people how to properly dispose of their fireworks after the weekend. Not in your science digital reporter Emily Severich joins us now in the studio and Emily, what tips did you learn about today? Yeah, Angie, I spoke with Fire Battalion Chief Jeremy Anderson today about the correct and incorrect ways to dispose of our fireworks. He tells me disposing of them in the correct way as opposed to incorrectly could be the difference between you and your loved one's safety and a deadly fire. Fires caused by fireworks account for nearly 20,000 incidents every year. The best way you can dispose of your fireworks, whether they be unused, misfires, or duds, is to start by soaking them, making sure that they're fully saturated. The recommend, they recommend 15 minutes for small fireworks and as long as overnight for larger ones. Then you should double wrap the still soaked fireworks in plastic wrap or plastic bags so they don't dry out. Then you can dispose of them in your household trash, trash or your local solid waste facility. Another aspect to this is the storage of fireworks. You can stay, safely store fireworks up to a year, but they need to be kept in a cool and dry environment, such as a garage and, of course, out of reach of children. And never, ever place them on top of any electrical appliance like a refrigerator or a freezer. Extreme weather and other circumstances could cause those fireworks to spark with the appliance and cause a fire. For additional information on firework safety and disposal, you can head over to WNCT.com and our online originals page. In the studio, I'm Emily Severage, 9 on your side.